Okay. Good morning and welcome. Welcome to the last session of the English crash course organized and conducted by Excel Academy to the students to benefit from that. I hope and pray that all of you watch the videos and get benefited out of it. Please do and respect the gesture of Excel Academy who has struggled and strive ceaselessly behind the screens to make it successful, useful for you. Their honorable intentions should never go wasted. It's such a deep sense, with such a deep sense of gratitude that I would like to thank the entire team of Excel Academy who has been there with me throughout, given this wonderful opportunity and want the students to benefit. Their main motive, yes, benefit the students, always and ever. Their vision, benefit the students. Their mission, benefit the students, no matter how it is. Organizing a free course is not a piece of cake. The wearer of the shoe knows where it pinches. But without bothering about anything, only bothering about the students and their welfare and their future and their career, here is Excel Academy who does this magnanimous job. I find no adjective to describe their work, their selfless service towards the society. I, being elder to them, would bless them abundantly with the best of everything in their future end of years. So with this small but last class introduction, here's Meenala Satyamurthy from Excel Academy taking you through today's class. So in today's class, I would first cover the last two papers that I have, which again has been provided to me by Excel Academy and tell you something about prepositions which I wanted to share with you. So let's commence. And a very warm welcome on a Friday morning. Now let me enlarge this. If I, I hope you remember, we were in the midst of this paper when the class ended yesterday. So let's start. He struck several bad patches before he made good. I think I had done this. It's okay, doesn't matter. Let me repeat it. Came across bad soil, had a bad time, went through many illnesses, had many professional difficulties. So he had many professional difficulties before he made good. The accounts of the murder made her flesh creep, made her sad, surprised her, made her cry bitterly, may fill her with horror. Creep. Creep itself is a very creepy word when it is mingled with such uh, an incident. That itself should tell you, fill her with horror. Sanjay was a real power behind the throne and all politicians were aware of it. Behind the throne. The person who had the real control and power, the acknowledged leader, the person who controlled the monarch, the person who advised the queen. Now, all politicians were aware, so please don't use monarch and queen. He was the one who had the real control and power. That is the answer. The next one. Some people now wonder whether we just pay lip service or genuinely subscribe to democracy. How true. Pay oral tribute, attach no value, remain indifferent. Just lip service is just an oral tribute. It's very easy to orally say, yeah, something. But we don't bother about the real value of it. Show only outward respect. This is the answer. Sorry, I've not seen it. Show only outward respect. The new economic policy is likely to run into rough weather. Rough weather means to say encountering difficulties. 
create problems. No, it's not creating problems. It's not confusing matter. It's not making things difficult. It encounters difficulties. Likely run into rough weather. I'm slightly under the weather means I'm not well, I'm sick. That is a thing. The sentence is given in each question when properly sequenced from labeled with a letter. Choose the most logical order of sentences from among the given choice to construct a coherent paragraph. Now, let's read the paragraph. As we move from small to large animals, from mice to elephant, or from small lizards to Komodo dragons, brain size decreases, but not so fast as body size. Since we have no reason to believe that large animals are consistently stupider than their small relatives, we must conclude that large animals require relatively less brain to do as well as smaller animals. In other words, bodies grow faster than brains and large animals have low ratios of brain weight to body weight. The correlation of brain size with body size among kindred animals, that is all reptiles, all mammals, for example, is remarkably regular. So he says, everywhere you're saying two are with D, one is with B, one is with C. Naturally, the correlation of brain size with body size among kindred animals, all reptiles, all mammals, for example, is remarkably regular is the first choice. Now, the next one has B and A. Let's see what A is. As we move from smaller to larger animals, brain size decreases. B says, we have no reason to believe that large this thing and all that stuff. So it is actually, strictly speaking, D, A. Okay. Okay, then next one would be this thing. See, uh, in other words, bodies grow faster than brains and large animals have low ratios. And the last one is B. So the answer will be D, A, C, B. The sentences, when given in each question, when properly sequenced, this is coming in between one minute. From label with a letter, choose the most logical order of sentences from among the given choice to construct a coherent paragraph. So when properly sequenced, when they are put in a proper sequence, give one, give us one paragraph. So which one should come first? Which one should come second? The ceremony was attended by politicians and dignitaries far more than 140 countries around the world. Nelson Mandela became South Africa's black president for more than three centuries of white rule. The inauguration ceremony took place in the Union Building's amphitheater in Pretoria. Mr. Mandela's African National Congress won 252 of the 400 seats in the first democratic elections of South Africa history. Now, if we have seen, we have two with B, two with A. So let us see which one is correct. Now it says the ceremony was attended by politicians. Which ceremony was attended by politicians? So when we have that, let us see what the that is A, okay? So A cannot be the answer. Okay. Okay, Nelson Mandela became South Africa's first black president after more than three centuries of white rule. 
Yes, that is the first one. The next one will be Mr. Mandela's African National Congress Party won so many seats. The next one will be the inauguration ceremony took place and see the ceremony was attended. So the link is the inaugurate the which ceremony inauguration ceremony. So we have B D C A, which is the order of the paragraph. Which of these is not an element of an e effective business report? Effective summary, conclusion, key findings, font style. Usually key findings because it's just a report that we write. Which of these documents is not using interdepartmental communication? Memorandum, office orders, circulars, newspaper advertisements, definitely advertisements. A well-defined MIS, okay, which serves more for which of the following purposes? Management information system, to report the organization performance to stakeholders, to prepare future plans for short and long-term basis, to exercise day-to-day -day control on various operations in different functional areas in the organization, all of the above, all of the above. MIS is a frequently asked question. Please be careful. Under this communication network, all members of the group communicate with each other and exchange information, star network. Which of this is a barrier in effective listening? Preconceived ideas or bias, interrupting in between conversation, previous interpersonal encounters, all of the above all of the above. When you have to listen to someone, remember we should not have any preconceived ideas or thoughts or about anyone. Even if you have, because it is humane to have. For that time, please say, I shall listen with an open mind and not bother who's speaking because I may not like the person who's speaking. And do not interrupt, allow the speaker to speak. And you may have many interpersonal encounters previously wherein there might be a difference of opinion and you may have fought. Leaving all that aside, listen. So these are all barriers to effective listening. Which of these is not a benefit of an intranet? Business operations and management promotes co common corporate culture, supports a distributed computing architecture, delayed update mechanism. So it naturally promotes common corporate culture. No. Next one. Which of these best defines ADR? A statutory document filed by every company annually with the registrations of companies stating the particular such as status, names of directors, shareholders, indebtedness of the company. A receipt showing evidence the shares of a foreign corporation are held on deposit under control of a U.S. banking institution used to facilitate transactions and expedite tra transfer of uh, this thing. What? One second. Beneficial ownership for an foreign security in the United States. The financial statement generally prepared at the end of the period. Usually the financial year showing the assets, liabilities and network of an organization. None of the above. A receipt showing evidence of shares of a, uh, this thing. Okay, it can be that too. Okay, NABAD stands for National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development. Three. Okay, this is a comprehension passage. Once a peace of mind, hard to find a person who has attained such a state of mental equilibrium will allow him to live a life of tranquility, 
peace of mind is a distant dream. The reason people hanker after ideal peace, which is pure peace, a peace which is free from all kinds of non-peace item. But this kind of absolute peace is not in nature's storehouse. Let us take the analogy of the rose, beautiful flower. Every stem has thorns. Thorns are integral part. Thorns serve as security guard. The translation of the Urdu lines is safety of the flower would be impossible if the thorns were silk-like. So flowers have to be accompanied by thorns. There must be hard thorns with soft flowers. There must be non-peace along with peaceful items. So peaceful mind is a very precious aspect of human studies and the two need safety to maintain its uh, sublime equal quality and studies in and Studies in psychology show that an untroubled mind very soon becomes stagnant. It loses its creativity. For this reason, nature always leads people in challenging situations. So uh, untroubled mind becomes stagnant, losing the creativity. And then challenging, non-peace guarantees the creative of peaceful mind never comes to an end. It's always alive. Common phenomena, one who's born in affluence, the problem-free life, soon find his mind becoming dull, while the one who's prone into problems and hardships has an active mind, develops the creative thinking, intellectual development continues. What can be considered as a distant dream for all of us? Peace of mind. So simple. Which of the following act as a security guard for the flowers? The thorns. Find the word in the passage, which means testing one's abilities. Tranquility, no. Impossible, no. Creative, no. Challenging. People who are born in affluence have a dull life, which means not developing, stagnant. You're very lucky if you get such a passage. God bless you if you really get. So this is one paper. Now, the last paper that I have to do is one more mock paper. I shall be doing that mock paper, as I told you, and then that completes all the mock papers that have been provided. Yes. Yes, let me enlarge it. Yeah. Choose the most appropriate meaning of the idiom. Okay, a fair weather friend, a loyal friend, a friend in all times, a friend who cares, a friend who deserts in difficult times. A fair weather friend. So weather, actually, if you notice, is a term that is used to indicate some sort of difficulties. I'm slightly under the weather, rough weather, fair weather. So this, because weather is not constant. Weather is continuously changing. Weather may be good, weather may be bad, weather may be harsh, weather may be very stormy, whatever it is. So a friend who deserts you, who lives you in difficult times. Arrange the following sentences in a meaningful paragraph. So, and investment treaties pertaining to crucial resources lie increasingly essential, such as telecommunications. A lot of arbitration today is centered on trade agreements, oil, gas, energy, and water, as well as services that are. So this is a very simple paragraph because the first one is beginning with a conjunction add, increasingly essential with an adverb and a thing. And the C has also determina. So it is not the C is the one. And the next is examples. Automatically, you know, C is the answer. Automatically, you know, 
sees the answer. So a lot of arbitration today is centered on trade agreements. So you can omit B and uh, D completely because it cannot become begin with B or D. So it begins with C and there are only two options. Do the elimination process now. So next one is that are increasingly essential such as telecommunications. No, that uh, a lot of arbitration today is centered on trade agreements and investment treaties. So agreements and increasingly essential, no. Agreements and investment treaties pertaining to crucial resources like, so after like what, examples will come, oil, gas, energy, and water, as well as services that are increasingly essential, such as telecommunications. You have only one answer, and that is D. So that is how you will have to do. Memo is a type of written, audiovisual, audio, oral. It's a written communication. A dash is a software application that enables one to find, retrieve, and display information available on the World Wide Web, and that is your web browser. We can see the other options also, what it is. It says cursor, it says computer, it is website. It cannot be all the three. Computer is useless without any input into it. Website is all the same. Annuity is a program listing items of business to be transacted in a meeting. Annuity is process by which the correctness of the decision of the lower court is questioned in higher court. A fixed sum of money payable for the whole or part of a person's life under the terms of the insurance policy or will. A party appealing a decision or judgment to a higher court. Annuity, annual. So only C is the answer. The field CC in email correspondence is used for recipient who are included for information. Not to take, to take action is to. None of the above is wrong. Are included when recipients are not known is blind carbon copy. This is CC means they must be aware, but they need not take action. Communication must convey all facts required by the audience, shows fulfillment of which principle of communication. All facts cover everything, completeness. Communication, there has been a question, at least one in every paper, just like memo, just like your uh, emails, the, and para jumble, and then a sentence with no error, comprehension. This is all short, short. So please don't neglect. In the following sentence, a part of the sentence may have an error. Find out which part of the sentence has an error. So here it says, the restaurant was full and the waiters were hurrying to and from. So first one says no error and the restaurant was full and the waiters were hurrying to and from. So to and fro, it's always to and fro, not to and from. A dash network of communication follows the organizational hierarchy and chain of command. Hierarchy, top to bottom. So chain, it should show you chain. Vertical is just from top to bottom. Wheel is circular. Okay, so that is the thing. So remember that. The financial statement generally prepared at the end of the financial year showing assets, liabilities, and the net worth of an organization is called balance sheet. Very common. You people will answer better than me, and I'm sure you will know it. A dash helps the reader to find out in the first instant what the contents of the letter are naturally subject line. 
That's why when you address your emails, when you write your business letters, whatever it is, your subject line must be precise, must be concise, not too lengthy as a paragraph and contain the core of the letter on for which you are writing. It's very, very, very important. The specialized or technical words used in specific fields is called jargon, especially in the field of newspapers. Journalism, jargons, journalism. A dash R and dash is a form of online journal that allows text, images, video clips, and links to website to be displayed as a web page allows comments to be posted by readers. Instant messaging, no. Email, no. Blog, the answer is blog. Okay, we have to go to the side. In the process of communication, the idea is dashed with suitable words, charts, are symbols for transmission encoded, okay? It cannot be transmitted or received. Give synonym for the word epi, uh, e ephemeral, that is short-lived. Read the following passage and answer the questions that follow. So if you have noticed, as I've told you earlier, these are repetitive. So it's comprehension, smallpox epidemic in England. Edward Jenner made a discovery, which was to alter the course of history. Disease struck those who lived in uh, rural areas and with cattle, had dairy workers, cowpox, recovered scar. Why not vaccinate people with cowpox to protect them from smallpox? 14th May, 1876, took a healthy boy, James Philip, to a dairy maid, Sarah Nelms, who had a cow's pox pustule on her hand, resulting from an infection from a master's cow, made two shallow cuts on James Phillip's arm, inoculated the matter taken from the cow pox sore, pustule developed in the boy's scab, formed a scab and healed. He inoculated again with James and them. They did not develop. It was successful. Dr. Jenner wrote a paper explaining his method of vaccination. At first, naturally, nobody accepts and then organize anti-vaccination camps. But today we are thankful to him. Smallpox is not there and the patient. On the onset, doctors were hostile towards Jenner's method of vaccination because it was very expensive. It was against the medical laws. It was life-threatening. It was a ridiculous procedure. D. The fact that Edward Jenner was a country doctor was important in the discovery of some smallpox vaccine because he noticed that disease struck people who seldom struck people who worked under the cattle. Okay, next one. Dr. Jenner made his experiment on a healthy boy who developed the signs of pustule on his body when he was injected with the matter of cowpox. Such a great thing to do it on an individual who had no such disease. Dr. Jenner was successful as cowpox virus produces a mild infection in humans, which is enough to active, produce active human, uh, immunity. Sorry. Dash is used to disseminate information to a large number of employees within the organization, which is office circular. Dash is used to separate two or more independent clauses that are placed together and are of equal importance in the sentence. Hyphen, semicolon, full stop, comma. This is the only paper that I've seen that is in a question asked regarding punctuation. Choose the appropriate article to fill in the blanks. They put their tent under the stars and went to sleep. No article wrong. Under and stars, we cannot say because stars is plural. 
A star we cannot say because stars is plural. You know very well A and an are used for uh, countable nouns and singular. Business report includes everything. What? Executive summary, body, key findings, conclusion. So the answer of the previous one also was all of the above. Listening is the dash part of communication, receiving part of the communication. Dash is a type of flow which usually takes place between people of same status or level of hierarchy in the organization, horizontal, because it's the same. Emails can be filtered using the dash option, which prevents the unwanted emails from entering the box, that is spam. MIS stands for Management Information System. The choice of means and modes of communication depend upon nature of the message, distance, organization, size, and policy, all of the above. Complete the following sentences. The reward was not commensurate with the work done by us. The phrase Abbey Initio means from the beginning. Extravagant, economical, odd one out, slumber, shabby, sleepy, drowsy. All are related to sleep, excess shabby. The money of um, amount left over after accruing the expenses, profit. The intranet helps to communicate within the organization. Correct spelling, A-B-S-C-N-C-E. So I'll just uh, cross check if all the papers are done with you. And then I've got something more to be done. So I want to do that with you, two minutes. So bury the hatchet. Yes, I've done this paper. Yes, I've done among tribes I had explained. Yeah, birds of a feather. Yes, I have done. Avoid two has been done. Yes, this has been done. Yes, this has been done. So literally I have covered all the papers from your books and uh, except the certain things which I wanted to teach you now, and I shall use and share the whiteboard. No? Yes, I shall use the whiteboard for this because I need to explain this, okay. Now, there are in certain cases where a preposition should not be omitted. You have to use the preposition. For example, you always say, listen to the advice. Listen to the advice. So you have to use the preposition to hear. The next one that you say, dispose of the old furniture. Dispose of the old furniture. So don't say dispose the old furniture. It's always dispose of the old furniture. You admit of an excuse. You admit an excuse? No, you admit of an excuse. You search for the file. You searched for the file. 
So you search for the file. Next, prevailed upon the staff. Prevailed upon the staff. You can also use on, both are admissible. The last one where a preposition is marked, partake of the refreshments. So if you see here, preposition should not be omitted. Never say, listen the advice. It's always listen to the advice. Dispose the old furniture, dispose of the old furniture. Admit an excuse, admit of an excuse. You searched for the file, prevailed on the staff, prevailed upon the staff, both are correct. Partake the refreshments, partake of the refreshments. So these are something that you should remember and utilize it whenever needed. So apply the learned knowledge. That is important. Then we always have the habit of using wrong prepositions, prepositions wrongly. So remember, it's always right to say, angry with me. We must always say angry with me. We have a tendency to say angry upon me. So it is angry with me. Then begin on Monday. Days and dates, you always have only on, on. So begin on Monday. You sign in ink. You sign in ink. Sign with an ink pen is okay. Sign in ink. Inquire of the cashier. Inquire of the cashier, not from the cashier. Okay. Meet me on the way. Meet in the way is wrong. Meet me on the way. Then please write a letter to my address, not on my address. Write a letter to my address. Different than that, different from that. Different from that. He insisted to go. He insisted on going. He insisted on going. That is one thing. Prohibited me to go. Prohibited me from going. Prohibited me from going. Desirous to go abroad. Desirous of going abroad. And then succeeded to win. Succeeded in winning. Succeeded in winning. And then no harm in trying. No harm in trying. No chance of making a profit. No chance to make a profit is not right. No chance of making a profit. So 
angry with me not upon me not on me angry with me then begin on monday begin on monday sign in ink sign with ink is not correct inquire of the cashier meet on the way to my address different from that insisted on going prohibited me from going desirous of going abroad succeeded in winning no harm in trying no chance of making a profit i repeat once again here correct prepositions should be utilized it is angry with me excuse me begin on monday sign in ink inquire of the cashier meet on the way to my address different from that insisted on going prohibited me from going desirous of going abroad succeeded in winning no harm in trying no chance of making a profit please remember this is extremely important without your knowledge you are going to apply this into your letters a correspondence answers everywhere really it helps in you trying to listen and then when you listen please take it up very seriously because these can change your answer to a very large extent when it changes your answer what happens is the loser is none but the student and that is the saddest part because we don't want our dear students to lose upon things which we have dealt with a little carefulness a little caution with a greater amount of concentration and effort would help you in achieving wonders angry with me begin on monday sign in ink inquire of the cashier meet on the way to my address different from that insisted on going prohibited me from going desirous of going abroad succeeded in winning no harm in trying no chance of making profit i don't believe in doing this in different uh, mother tongues and coming back i can speak in kannada hindi and tamil though not very great but what happens is the real true sense of the meaning is lost and i don't want my dear students to be the losers so if you understand in this manner anyhow the job is all dealing with english it will be helpful for you to listen also in english i am not using very high uh, funda vocabulary very simple down to earth so that you can follow and repetition is always done so remember this one now remember the usage of uh, sorry lest when you use the verb lest okay lest you should not miss whenever lest is there should must come there is nothing else okay take the notes carefully lest you should miss the important points if there are cbse students they will know 
when editing and uh, omission paragraphs were given, this would be a very common mistake, important points. And this should be taken care of. Take the notes carefully, lest you should miss the important points. With the word less, nothing else come. Lest means in order that. Okay, so please utilize only should not with less. This is one more important thing. I'll just list out important stuffs because I know it will come for your writing work also. So it should, it should be a global crash course. Okay, so that it helps. So now with unless, you cannot say unless he does not apologize. You say unless he apologizes. He should not be allowed in the class. So here, take care. You cannot write like this unless he does not. Unless itself come, come, tells you uh, without which. So unless he apologizes, do not use this. Unless he apologizes, he should not be allowed in the class. Unless the company pays the dues, they should not be allowed to order for new things like that. Unless they pay, unless he apologizes. So that is one thing. Next, remember when you have despite, despite like this, but with in spite, you will always say in spite of, prefer to, okay? This is all you have to know that. And then remember, we are not supposed to use know that when, before interrogative adverbs pronounced. For example, he asked me, I think yesterday also I had done this sentence, why the, min why the minutes had not been taken. So when you say, I asked me and all that, please use why, do not use that. He asked me that in an interrogative case is not allowed. Otherwise it is allowed. Like is never used as a conjunction. Please remember that. The correct conjunction will be as. And let me tell you one thing, how much ever I try to cover, I may not be able to cover 100%. Even if I cover, there may be so, so many things that you feel may have may come in the exam, I might not have dealt. It's nothing like that. I pick up according to my purview, the important factors. So blessed you are if it comes like that. So don't get worked up at all. So here you have to remember, if you have although, you will always have something and it. If you have as, you'll have something and as. If you have both, and then you will have and. You will have neither nor, or you will have either or. Okay, hardly when, hardly when you will have, scarcely when, no other than, no 
not only but also no sooner than so that you will also have t double o two you will have also have such as so these are very common in sentences when we combine if there is although you will automatically have that if you have as and as when you compare if you have both then it will be there'll be an and neither nor either or hardly when scarcely when no other than not only but also no sooner than so that to to such as these are again extremely important when you combine two sentences although yet as as both and neither nor either or hardly when scarcely when no other than not only but also no sooner than so that to to such as and then remember this is something very important always i have taught you i have always been teaching you this yours sincerely i'm repeating this please don't write y o u r apostrophe s it's wrong its member the company and its members indicating a sense of belonging do not put an apostrophe here this is wrong then supposing he fails not supposing if he fails because supposing itself tells you that there is an is clause there supposing he fails now in my opinion in my opinion according to my opinion is not absolutely this thing in my opinion this is uh, very very important so please take it as seriously as possible now you say a phenomenon a phenomenon you say the criteria are depending upon the criteria you say a criteria no the criteria are criterion is the plural so remember that the sub committee comprises of three members the sub committee comprises three members comprise itself is having so comprise of do not put so that is one more thing that you have to take because they are all such common mistakes that occur always so please be careful with all this then whenever you have collective now naturally the verb is singular for example if you say a herd of cattle is grazing so but when you say only cattle you say are that is very important that also when you write in the uh, this thing please go through the idioms and phrases and i as i told you when you see the idiom and phrases visualize 
when you visualize you will get the meaning better of course it does not have the literal meaning there but it will you will have to visualize and then you will get the this thing answer there so please go through that you cannot by heart all the idioms and phrases together it's highly impossible so this is very very important so i was telling you this last one the herd of cattle is grazing now here it is is because of this collective noun herd if i remove that the cattle are grazing the cattle are grazing so you must be very very careful pair of socks pair of shoes pair of trousers troop of singers at ba band of musicians all this this thing secondly possessives are formed usually by adding s now if it is a singular we say mans now if it is men we add s and this now it's already plural for example books then we can add after s simply don't add apostrophe everywhere now this is also been dealt to you regularly at that time i'm just recollecting or uh, recapitulating to you now you say mr guptas g u p t a apostrophe s belongs to mr guptas chopra's office chopra's office so workers demands workers ending with s already plural after s so this is the way you will have to deal with it so para jumbles finding out the error then comprehension passage has been done every day all the 15 days literally i must say i have covered 15 passages at least from here there everywhere and then uh, business communication i have dealt with mis have dealt with and then i have put this determiners in the uh, questions only that has come explained to you little few everything i have also done certain amounts of words abbreviations and this one for you people idioms and phrases i have dealt with i have dealt with spellings also i have also dealt with different kinds of listening to and dealt with mock papers too so all this has been done it's only requires your effort to listen to uh, the video and i've also told you how to eliminate the choice and write the answer not to you know blindly go through all the choice how to do comprehension passages which was done in the very first class all this with diagrammatic representation also i had given to you in the beginning so with the, just hoping and praying that you take a little pain to watch the video and please answer let me tell you one thing very frankly you are writing the paper in english please listen in english the answers will be easy mother tongue translation is definitely no doubt very easy but the subject verb order completely changes your answer goes for a toss and you become the loser we never want our students to lose we always want our student to be on the winning side so please listen to it and you will be helped by it and that's the biggest respect that you can give to excel academy not even me because that's the trouble that they have taken that's the pains that they have taken i don't mind sounding repetitive i don't mind people calling me redundant but at the end of the session today being the last class for the english class co crash course for the cs wet students a special thanks to mr alok and his team of efficient effective staff who have been ceaselessly striving to make this course a successful one i pray god to bless them and bless them abundantly and so that they do the best for the students always god bless all of you lot lots and lots of good wishes all the very best keep in touch any any doubt any time 
you can chat and then take care goodbye happy weekend and happy month of april happy afternoon good afternoon and thanks from meenala sutya murthy to excel academy bye bye see till then goodbye